My name is Tim, and I have Lou Gehrig's disease, which sucks. We were playing this alumni event at Gopher College, and um, Tim had been really wanting to see us again, see our new songs. Um, he hadn't been able to get out, and uh, so since it was outside in the middle of the day, it kind of seemed like it made sense to have him come to that, so um, they bundled him up and drove him out there. I had tried to see Decoration Ghost at Guilford during Homecoming, where Often Awesome was getting an award. On behalf of uh, the Guilford College Alumni Association and Guilford College, we would, I would like to present the first annual Community Cares Award. And this award is going to go to Tim LaFollette and the Awesome Awesome and its alumni members. This is the first year we've given this award. This award is presented to alumni of Guilford College who collectively demonstrate the Quaker testimony of community. It serves to recognize the collective actions of alumni who live and work in the spirit of peace, justice, love, compassion, and joy through their good works. The members of the, the alumni members of the Awesome Awesome organization, which are Elise Foster, Kate McNeely, Devinder Sellers, Michaela Maxwell, Sky Nicole Harris, Will Dotson, Faith Jost, and Kevin Miller. Sam, you inspired this award. You inspired um, the Guilford community. You are inspiring us to do better, to aspire to our core values, and this award is in your honor. Thank you very much. Don't get me wrong, I was proud to get it, but what I was really there for was to see Decoration Ghost play. I hadn't seen them play since I left, and I was so excited. The first chord struck and it sounded amazing. Halfway through the first song and the generators blew Defender's amp. And that was that, because of the ineptitude of the sound company Guilford hired Decoration Ghost was kicked off the stage. He had a, like a thing that says done on it and everything. Done. Thank you. Sorry about the amps. All of them. I was infuriated, but more than that I was heartbroken. I cried for hours. Guilford gave me an award and promptly crushed my spirit. I had been looking forward to that day for so long. For me, at first, it was just another stupid thing that happens when you play shows. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Um, and then we saw how, how bummed out Tim was, and I was like, well, let's just, let's just do it again. Decoration Ghost is uh, playing a super special, secret, awesome set for Tim, who was one of the four founders of that band. So Greg has a lot to live up to today. We're going solely to judge him. And hopefully Devender's amp won't blow out this time. Katie knew how crushed I was and set up a small show at Joe's house. It was sweet of everyone to do it. Which I know he wanted to see a proper show, but it just was getting less and less practical for him to do that because shows tend to be late at night and they tend to be in these places that are hard to get in and out of and you can never be sure exactly when we're going to play and all that. So. Um, yeah, we just turned the shed into a little place. We just spun the equipment around, faced it out, cleaned everything out, and invited, you know, 15 or so people over, and um, it went really well. It takes a lot of work to get me anywhere, but Kaylin and Michael took the time to get me there. Seeing what was involved, getting him out there, um, because I haven't been real intrinsically involved with the caretaking, it's always a little shocking to me, like, wow, they have to, like, carry the oxygen tank around, and there's got to be at least three people setting up ramps and pushing him around and making sure he's warm and um, it's, it's a lot of work to get him out of the house. So. Hour if we're really on our A-game, um, two hours if we do the general thing where we're forgetting like 25 things and like three steps in the process. It's a process that continues to change so 
often based on Tim's needs that it's really impossible to get every step down each time. It's quite an adventure just, just loading him up for sure. But it's always worth it and I get to drive this badass van. So we get to Joe's house and so many friends were there. It was difficult not being able to talk, but I was happy to be there. Going into it has been like a lot of the things that we've done with, with Tim where there's this sort of heaviness to it and that is sometimes annoying. It's like, can't we just not have like have this presence of heaviness? Because I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to react to it. So usually I just don't. Usually I just try not to overthink okay, we're playing in this room probably for the last time for these 15 people. That's t too much to process when you're actually trying to play music. So I just tried to play music really well. And um, and then I kind of went in this weird VH1 storyteller's direction with it and was like sort of between every song was sort of explaining Tim's role in the song or something funny about whatever anecdotal stuff about the songs themselves. And it, yeah, I think it went really well. And Street, we wrote this song while Tim was out of town, didn't we not? He was gone, and then you came back and you didn't like it. <laughs> we had to sell it to you. It, it grew on Tim. Yeah, he likes it now, I think. I funneled a beer or two and watched the show. It was amazing to be in the old practice space. They sounded incredible. The genesis of the band was with Tim, you know, um, and it continues to mean a lot to him. I'm so glad they continued after I left. I was really nervous to present the new material to him, and um, so we'd finish the song, and I would kind of be looking at him, and yeah, he would have to, he would do that, and Kaylin was like, that, that means he's clapping, <laughs> because that's pretty much the, the only muscle he can move still. The new material is great. But sometimes I wonder if Scott misses someone to bump heads with. We were always pushing each other creatively. I really miss playing with them, but it's nice to see your creative baby grow. That day did everything it needed to do. Um, Tim got to see the new songs, got to see us in a comfortable environment. Um, and uh, we got to finish what we weren't able to finish at Guilford College a couple weeks before. It was a really nice day. Well, I'll die trying. I'll never give up. Even when the odds are down, when no one gives a fuck. And even when pigs are flying, hell is frozen up. Well, I'll die trying. I know it's hard to love someone whose head is in the stars, but don't give up, hold on soon, until I've kept my promise and have given you the moon, I will die trying. Fuck, not even